They always <laughs> you do right. last, you do right there, those not too long. I swear to God. You know you cannot take this alcohol inside, right? Those are pointing in this bottle. This is bottle of water. No, no, no. It's bottle of water. Gotcha. Fuck Biggie. I said it. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky, and if you've seen my face for the very first time, hi, please consider to hit on the red subscribe button, subscribing to my channel and please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video and please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment below and uh, if you enjoy this video i really love to read your comments okay so guys today is a continuation of the video i actually made early hours of this morning you understand and i'm like okay there are some things i actually do not gist you guys about because these housemates sometimes they do things that actually blows your mind that you even tell, end up there's so much that i end up forgetting some of it okay so as a continuation of the truth or dead they actually did i did a pre i i have video i just uploaded before this one please check it out so that you will have the full gist of what actually went down yesterday because a lot of things actually happened yesterday night you get so during the truth or dead also was there to give nengi his favorite sexual position and you know like what he has always wanted i'm sure that's what that he has always want been wanting because he has i i'm sure he has been imagining it because of how he's been trailing nengi you know how he follows nengi you know how even he uh, you know the expression of how he feels towards nengi it's so obvious even if he has not opened his mouth to actually say it but his action actually speaks he was given the privilege he was given the opportunity to express what might be in his head to do to Nengi whenever they have they ever have that opportunity. As you can see even kyle there has been silly during the, the truth or day because he refused to always show us when these guys are daring themselves and what they actually do the kind of things they do i don't know what is wrong with him even in my other videos he tends to be very tactical in what he's doing and then during that truth or day too guys tricky t was crazily drunk tricky t actually drunk himself to stupor tricky t drunk himself to the point that he started talking in the nonsense he started the yarning in the rubbish <laughs> he was just talking nonsense he was just saying all the nonsense in his mouth like you watched in the beginning of this video i'm going to give you guys a continuation of the nonsense that tricky t was even saying you understand at some point dorothy was even the one that actually babysit tricky t so that he goes to bed and then when dorothy talked in him into his duvet he he was just saying oh god please forgive me let my pastor forgive me this that 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 even if he's going home on sunday that everybody should forgive him that is why he doesn't like drinking in fact tricky t was knocked out an angel so beautiful so beautiful i know i'm high but it's the truth you are so beautiful thank you i am kid wire to go to church I do Thanksgiving. <laughs> you should pay some money to church. Give God some money for you. You should. You should. I swear to God, you should. So moving on later that night, actually what happened was we were just just like I told you guys in my previous video that um Watoni actually did something to make um Brito jealous. Apparently, her intention was actually achieved. Oh, yeah, you heard me right. Because at the end of the day, she actually spent her night in Brito's bed. And for some reason, I don't actually understand what has been. You know, Watoni has been wanting to be booed up in that house for the longest time. And I guess she's just finding out the person she is supposed to be booed up a little bit too late, you guess. So, Brito and Watoni, they were under the duvet yesterday. And they were busy. I don't understand what they were doing there. But they Evangelist Brito was, was literally fingering. I hope that's not what my eyes see. But I guess I'm going to play the video. I'm going to put up the video for you guys to check so that you tell me what you guys think um, Brito was and what only they were actually doing under that duvet.
so guys what do you think about what brito and watoni were doing were they praying or were they discussing or were they gisting because hands were moving you know legs were moving what do you think they were doing because i know your mind is as dirty as mine oh yeah don't deny it yeah because you you think you guys say i like a poker but i think you like a poker more than me anyway guys also moving on praise was also tipsy and then after the whole thing confessing whatever he feels for watoni which is also in my previous video which you have to go watch to actually get the juice because they are juicy details in that video he also went to to lucy and for some reason he was just trying to encourage lucy talking to lucy and all that and then he tried to force to force plant a kiss on lucy of course he succeeded then that's just how the housemates actually had their phone yesterday night brighto for the first time in the house actually had a ministerial or do I call her? I don't know what to call that, you get. But I don't, you know, I don't get what the whole hula baloo of this whole housemates, their whole bulldog, their oho, like they are beginning to make this whole Big Brother Niger thing look like it's um, more about relationship and all that. Like if you don't have a relationship, you're not supposed to be in the house. If you don't have a relationship, it it, it doesn't sit well with you. You understand. And then on the other hand, Lakon has not been eating, and then Big Brother has called Lakon to actually beg him to please. Lake can be eating. You did not come to the house to starve. You did not come to the house to be waiting and looking for a woman that is not looking at you or something like that. And I don't know how he's going to do that. Kidwire actually has refused to sleep in the HOH -H lounge. And for some reason, I think there is a punishment for that. I really do not know. I'm not sure you get. But I know from the last season that whenever you win the HOH -H game and then you are the head of house, you are supposed to most definitely sleep in your lounge. So Kidwire and his deputy, Tolani Baji, they have refused to be sleeping in the lounge they have just been sleeping to like today kidwire actually slept with erica on her bed and tolani badge the last two days has been sleeping on his bed i don't know if that is biggest instruction or they they are just outrightly flouting the rules or whatever it is but that is just the update i felt i should come and give to you guys which i actually left out in my conversation earlier i hope you enjoyed this video please if you do give it a thumbs up and please Leave me a comment down below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, Kilo Day Now, what are you waiting for? This is the right channel to be on. If you need a gist partner, you need an member partner, this is where you should be. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. I hope you stay by with me and I hope to see you in my next video. And bye for now.